Hey guys, we have here the Sony WH-XB900N wireless headphones and in case the battery on your headphones doesn't last very long anymore or the headphones just don't want to charge at all, then this may be caused by a bad battery. So we want to show you in this video how to replace this. Okay, so the battery is located inside of the right ear cup. So that's the one here with the R on the side in red. So that's the one that we want to open up. And how do we do this? So the first thing we have to do is remove the ear pad. And this is really easy to do. You just put two fingers into the inside of the ear pad. And then with your thumb, you hold it really tightly. And then you can kind of peel off this uh, cover here. So see, this is really easy. And then we put this to the side. And when we take a look in here now, we find five screws. So five Phillips screws. And we need a small Phillips screwdriver to remove those. And when we do that, we want to be quite careful because we don't want to accidentally drop one of those small screws inside of the center here of the ear cup. So that's where the, the driver is. See this here? So there's a really strong magnet in there. And if you get too close with the screw, then the screw will get sucked in. And for one, it would be really difficult to remove that screw. And also we're going to be in danger of accidentally damaging the driver and then the sound just wouldn't be original or the same as it used to be. So always be careful with those little screws. Don't accidentally have them drop into the center of the ear cup. Okay, so now when we removed all the screws, you see here this little gap here in between. And that's where we're going to just put our fingernail in and we're going to carefully detach the outside here. And you don't really want to do this carefully because you see this little wire here. So this wire connects the driver with that PCB, that blue, uh, green PCB in there, that board. And you don't want to pull on the cable too hard because otherwise we're going to accidentally rip that off and we would have to solder it on later. Okay, so now we see here this little uh, black box and that's where the battery is inside of. And this box is secured by another three small Phillips screws. So two of them we can already see, so we can remove those really quick. And then we have this uh, black wire here that's uh, clipped into the uh, black housing. So let's detach this from here. And at this point we can't yet remove this black box. So we need to first remove this small PCB in green here. So that's also tightened by two more small Phillips screws. So one here right by this uh, connector there, by the red and black wires. And then there's another one here in the lower left corner, a little bit hidden by this other wire. So we remove that one as well. And now you can try to be really, really careful with a small ribbon cable so that we see here in blue. And you can try to not accidentally pull uh, that out at one end. Uh, I couldn't prevent it, so I accidentally pulled that out. It's not a big deal, we have to uh, just remember to attach that later on. Then the next step is to remove the connector to the battery. That's here, the one with the black and the red wires. Just pull that out of the PCB. And then here, when we move that PCB to the side, then we have the third screw that holds the battery cover here in place. So now remove the battery. You can see here, take a close look at the model, uh, SM-03, 3.7 volts. I'm also going to put a link to the battery on Amazon uh, in the comment section below. So now it's time to remove that battery. The uh, battery is glued into position with some double-sided tape. Just use a small screwdriver to pry this off. And then the new battery we just uh, put into the same location. Make sure that you have the uh, Cables here go out in the right uh, corner. And now let me show you how to reattach that small ribbon cable. You really want to do this step after you reinstall the battery because doing this at this point is a little bit early. So first thing you do is you flip up that little plastic switch there, that gray switch with a small prying tool. You want to be really careful doing that. And then when this switch is facing up, then you can try to get that small ribbon cable here into the small slot. So uh, be patient when you try to do this. Uh, it's really um, takes a while. It takes a couple of minutes to actually get it in there. And then you want to push that little lever here, that little bit gray switch. You want to push that back down and then it should hold on to that ribbon cable. 
Okay, so as I said before, you don't want to really do that at this point. This is too early. First, reinstall the battery and screw that back down because otherwise it's pretty likely that you're going to accidentally rip that off again. So then the next step is to bring the PCB back into position. Remember the two screws that go in there, one on the left, one on the right. And then uh, the next step is to reconnect the battery. I'm using here some tweezers to help me guide uh, the connector here right into the PCB. Slide that in there. And then we also uh, reattach here the, uh, the wires here to that uh, housing of the battery. And then the next step is already to close everything up. Make sure you have it in the right orientation. You see this R here that has to be facing upwards. So then you know you have it right. And now next step is already to bring the five small Phillips screws back in. Remember, don't accidentally drop one into the center here. There's, it's magnetic, so it's going to be really difficult to remove those screws in case they fall in there. Also, make sure not to open, over tighten those screws. So you're just screwing the metal screw into plastic, and that wouldn't be good if you over tighten that. Okay, so then the last step is to reinstall the uh, ear pad. And you see these have this little groove here on the ear cup, and then this lip on the ear pad. And you're just going to slide that in there. So I'm going to start at the top of the ear cup, and then you're going to slowly or carefully here slide this over that lip. Do this on both sides. So you just work, work your way, way around there. It's relatively easy. It may take a minute or two, but it's it's okay. It's not that hard. And then eventually you're going to have this correctly aligned. And then we already completed. So we have replaced now our battery. So maybe the first thing we should do is to recharge the new battery, make sure it's okay. So we're just going to plug that in and we should see the LED now here light up in red so that indicates the battery is charging. And uh, that was already it for our fix here. Yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any more questions or comments, then please leave a message below.